<laughs> Weeping Willow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll return with more of your favorite game show. Say a kind of free and we oh, hit you with my. a lemon meringue pie. <laughs> John always did have a taste for the really serious intellectual programming. We'll be back with more of Say a Kind of Free and we hit you with a lemon meringue pie after these news headlines. Today is the first day of the city's new dog licensing law. Any dog not wearing a license will be presumed a stray and taken to the dog pound. Oh, I almost forgot about that. I got Odie a license and I have to put it on him. In other news, traffic is stalled on the Coast Highway due to an accident. Workers said cars were blocked when a collision knocked down a large elm tree. Huh? I know you don't like it, but it's for your own good. If they catch you without it, they'll haul you off to the pound. Oh, that would be just awful. No, even I'm not that rotten. There. Now, I'm going back to my favorite show, Say a Kind of Tree, and we'll hit you with a lemon meringue pie. Just any sense of good taste. Hope I'm not missing much. <sighs> I gotta get down here where I can just get some... Oh, that feels good. No, I don't want to throw the stick. No, I don't want to throw the ball. In fact, I want to throw the ball even less than I wanted to throw the stick. No, I don't want to throw the doggy toy. As hard as it may be to believe, I want to throw the doggy toy even less than I wanted to throw the stick or the ball. But you know what I do want to throw? You had to ask. Uh, oh, his license came off. He's out there where they grab dogs that don't have licenses and take them to the pound. Not my problem. <laughs> License. You won't get away from me, dog. Hey, watch it. Sorry, Pooch, but it's the law. Oh, I'm not asleep. Why can't I sleep? It can't be because I feel guilty about Odie out there without his dog license. It's not my fault it fell off when I threw him out the window. So why can't I sleep? Well, if I can't sleep, I might as well eat. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, this is so... Douglas oh, oh, this is good. Oh, 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 it hurts. Oh, oh, can't get me with... <laughs> my room. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Fazblatt. I checked with the judges, and they say mushroom omelet is not the name of a tree, so we cannot hit you with a lemon meringue pie. But now it's time for our home game, where one lucky viewer will get to play Say a Kind of Tree and we hit you with a lemon meringue pie. Home game? You mean someone will be hit with a lemon meringue pie just for saying, oh, I don't know, spruce? I'll get it. 
Uh, yes? Oh, great. You finally won something and it's that? I'll get dinner on the table. Hmm. You call Odie. Odie. Well, no Odie, let's eat. Oh, where's Odie? I'm not serving dinner until Odie is at the table. But that's not fair. I'm here. I'm hungry. I'm... I'm serious, Garfield. No dinner until Odie is at the table. And now go out and find him. But I'm... I'm... Ugh! I'm going to find him. Odie. Odie, yahoo. Odie. 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 Attention, brainless mutt. If you're looking for your dog, I saw him get taken off to the pound. I was afraid of that. Well, this is it. I'm actually walking into a building full of dogs. Voluntarily. Sorry, cat. You see that sign? That means no cats allowed. Lucky, Mom. Someone threw away a perfectly good pussy cat. <laughs> they probably thought he was too fat. <coughs> Hey, you're not exactly supermodel material yourself, lady. All right. I didn't want to resort to this, but it may be the only way to get this license back on Odie. Okay, let's see if I can pass for a dog. Arf, arf, woof, woof. Nah, I don't look stupid enough. Man, how do dogs do this stupid stuff all day? Oh, wow. Arf, yip, 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 yip. Bark, yip, bark. Isn't it a little late to be going out looking for strays? I need one more catch to make my quota for today, Pete. Ahem. <clears throat> Bark, bark. Stray dog with no license. Woof, and double woof. <laughs> gotcha! You got me. Okay, doggy, in here with ya. <laughs> Your situation is not hopeless, Odie. Huh? By day, he looks like an ordinary, brainless, too dumb to do anything useful dog. But then, when there's trouble, he instantly transforms himself into Super Garfield, 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 Garfield. Whoa, hey, stop. Put that tongue back where you found it. No, stop. Stop or I'll leave you here, Odie. Better. Now then, you'll need this to get out. How will I get out? Leave it to me. First, you make some noise. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's all the racket? What's... Hey, he has a license on. Let me get a better look at that. Sean Arbuckle. And there's an address. I was sure you didn't have one when I picked you <sighs> up. Now, I better get you back to Mr. Arbuckle right away and apologize. Let me out. I shouldn't be in here. Hello? <laughs> meow. Meow, meow. See you later, Zal. Meow. Meow, meow. Meow. A cat? How did a cat get in here? You shouldn't be in here, cat. True. Open the door and let me out. I'm gonna open the door and let you out. Just as soon as Al gets back. He has the only key. Hey, you can't leave me here like some... some dog. I'm not a dog. 
Dogs are ugly. Dogs are disgusting. <laughs> Stupid, worthless creatures. Dogs are idiots. <laughs> dogs are all over the place. They're all around me. They're, they're, I, I didn't mean what I said. I was talking about other dogs. You know, I, uh, I love dogs. In fact, I am a dog. See? Uh, dog. <laughs> Oh, well. Rough, rough, rough. You're not buying this for a second, are you? Look, I'd like to take this opportunity to make a sincere apology. Uh, I'm really sorry about this, Mr. Albuckle. Oh, that's okay. Thanks for bringing my dog home. So that's where you were, Odie. Which brings us to the next question. Where's Garfield? <laughs> yeah, knowing him, he's probably out somewhere having a wonderful time. Table check. <laughs> Eating John's lunch for him? Check. Tread new drapes. Check. Okay, that's everything on my to-do list for today. Huh? <laughs> Send this off. In case you're wondering, I just sent that DVD I made of you misbehaving to Dr. Whipple. No, not Dr. Whipple. <laughs> I want to watch a really mindless game show featuring people dressed up as large chickens. I don't care what you want to watch, Garfield. We're going to watch Dr. Whipple. As you know, I specialize in teaching obedience to pets. Especially cats who don't know how to behave and are lazy, rude, and impossible. I hear there are such cats. Yesterday on this show, I showed you one of the worst behaved cats I've uh, ever uh, come across. Here's a tape of how kittikins used to be. Hey, <laughs> seems like my kind of guy. In fact, kittikins looks kind of familiar. Since then, I have put Kittikins through my no-fail guaranteed pet obedience training, and here he is. <clears throat> Kittikins, would you like to chase this bird? Mm. No. Oh, what a well behaved You see, you can train your disobedient pet with my exclusive line of DVDs, what? tapes, books, Computer software. Pet Don't food, worry, Garfield. I'm not going to order all that expensive item. equipment. <sighs> Good. For a minute there, I thought. Come on in. It's open. John, you didn't. You wouldn't. You couldn't. You did. Come with me, cat. Oh. <sighs> Farewell, Odie. 
I'll be back. But I may not be me when I return. John, how could you do this to me? Oh, well, good morning, cat. <clears throat> now, if you do as you're told, we can get through this in a hurry. After several hours of my training, you will be a tame, docile cat like Kittikins here. Why does Kittikins look so familiar to me? Huh? First training method, the sound chamber. This will instill in you a sense of warning if you misbehave. Don't scratch. Don't mistreat puppies. Eat what you've been I'll be back in about an hour. No. All right, it's an hour later. Fine. We're off to a good start. Uh, 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 yuck. This is to break you of your atrocious habit of kicking small puppies off of tables. Whenever you kick the robotic puppy off, well, just try it and see what happens. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I'm not taking this lion down. I know just how you feel, pal. And now it's time to eat. Why do I have the feeling this is the first time ever I'm not going to like doing that? All right, here is your food. <laughs> Kitty Crunch, dry nuggets, styrofoam flavor, and here is my dinner. Prime rib with mashed potatoes, gravy, cream corn, and apple pie a la mode for dessert. Ooh, yum and double yum. You must eat your food and not eat my food. Because do you know what will happen if you try to eat my food? That's right. If you try for my food, a half-ton safe will drop on you. So I noticed. Now. Make the correct choice. Cat, every time you reach for the prime rib, the safe will drop on you. Don't you realize this? <laughs> then why do you keep reaching for the prime rib? Because it's just the way I like it, medium rare. Good job. Now you've had the complete program. And somehow I su su survived. You'll be perfectly behaved when we do my TV show in one hour. <sighs> that was awful. In fact, it was worse than awful. It would have to get better just to be awful. Hi, Garfield. Hi, Kittykins. Hey, how do you know my name, Kittykins? Wait. You're Harry, that cat from my neighborhood. <laughs> That's me. Well, what are you doing pretending to be a tame cat named Kittykins? You're as bad as I am. I got me a job. I pretend to be a successful result of Doc Whipple's training, and every day he pays me my weight in tuna fish. He can afford that? Are you kidding? You know how much this guy makes off these stupid lessons he sells? How much does he make? Enough to pay you your weight in tuna. Well, that's a lot of tuna. Yeah, play along. Help him sell the stuff, and you could have the same great job I have. Hmm. Which would I rather have? My weight in tuna every day? 
or my integrity. Ooh, these moral decisions are hard. And now, the world's foremost trainer of problem pants, Dr. Wimble! Thank you. Today, you will see the results of my greatest challenge. Worst behaved cat I'd ever seen, Garfield. I put him through my extreme housebreaking program, and now you will see the results. <laughs> Garfield. Garfield, do you have any desire to mistreat small puppies? Do you have any desire to steal food or shred drapes? <laughs> that cat has become so well behaved. We have to order Dr. Whipple's DVDs, tapes, and books. But we don't have a cat. Oh, very good, Garfield. Now, is there anything you'd like to do? Yes, this. <laughs> <laughs> Catch him! Going down. <laughs> that cat is not well behaved. I thought Dr. Whipple had trained him not to do things like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I have to go tend to, uh, matters. <laughs> Got it, you. Struggle all you want, cat. You ain't getting away. There he is, the cat who's trying to ruin my business. Who, me? Sweet, well-behaved me? But it won't work. The public is too stupid to catch on. Hey, so what if my training program doesn't work? They still send me tons of money. <laughs> Those idiots. I got a sweet racket going here, and you won't stop me. Dr. Whipple, they're hearing you on national television. They can't hear me. I left my microphone on stage. They can, uh... <laughs> Do you have any further words for our listening audience, Doctor? You miserable little... I'm taking my cat home, thank you very much. Thanks for the lessons, Doc. Dr. Whipple, the phone lines are jammed with customers canceling orders and demanding refunds. Why didn't you teach that cat how to behave? I did. Unfortunately, that's how he behaves. Garfield, I wanted to say again how sorry I am I sent you to that terrible doctor. Oh, I'd say, uh, eight more apologies ought to do it. <sighs> well, Odie, I'm home and I'm still me. Dr. Whipple didn't whip me into shape the way you wanted. <gasps> oh, that reminds me. It's time for his show. The Dr. Whipple show, normally seen at this time, will never be seen again. Wow, this couldn't have gone better. Instead, stay tuned for a really mindless game show featuring people dressed as large chickens. I was wrong. That's better. Trick-or-treaters. 
There's something I don't like about Halloween. Maybe it's giving perfectly good candy away to total strangers instead of me eating it. Trick or treat! Here's one for you, and one for you, and one for you. Here's one for me, and one for me, and one for me. Ooh, peppermint. Now make sure you don't eat all the candy, Garfield. Leave some for the trick-or-treaters. Hey, the bowl's empty. The candy is all gone. Gee, I wonder where it all went. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd better go out and buy some more. <clears throat> First dinner, then you go out and buy some more. Ooh, more trick-or-treaters. Garfield, get the door. Wash your feet. <laughs> Sorry, all out of candy. Come back next year. Garfield, that's mean. Open the door and give them something we don't need. Here, we don't need this. Huh? Garfield, you can't give Odie away. Oh, the only candy we have left now is this old taffy you didn't eat last Halloween. Don't touch any of it. Hey, don't worry. There's some things in the world even I won't eat, and stale taffy is most of them. Ah, this is the night for free goodies. All I need is a costume. Let's see now. Hey, Odie, what do you think I should go as? Besides an overweight pussycat. The scarier the costume, the more treats you get. Now, let's see, where can I dress as it will be really scary? I'm coming to you live from the zoo, where visitors are flocking to see what may well be the no. scariest creature ever scariest? found here. He's Catzilla, a rare and near descendant of the prehistoric saber-toothed tiger. Everyone seems very afraid of him. Which might mean they'll give him lots and lots of candy. John won't mind if I use his paint, and the reason he won't mind is he won't know. Where's that toy walrus John won at the Carnival Ring Toss game last year? Mind if I borrow these? Of course you don't. You're a toy. Now I need to capture that savage cat look. <laughs> no, no good. If I'm gonna look really mean, I'll have to think of something to make me look really Hostile. Oh, I'm a sorry, kitty cat. We have no more pepperoni for your pizza. How about some nice raisins? No, more hostile than that. Come on, Garfield. Let's do some aerobic exercises. Then we'll eat nothing but lettuce for a month. Not quite. It's got to be something to make me truly hostile. Hiya, Garfield. Yes, it's me, Normal. I'm coming to live with you, and I'm going to sleep in your bed. <laughs> That's it. Now, to the treats. Hey, let's see what's on the news. Before we go, let's take one last look at Catzilla. We can't get too close to this fierce beast because... Where's the fierce beast? Where's Catzilla? Oh, oh. He's gone? <laughs> Catzilla has escaped! <laughs> We better lock the doors. We're not far from the zoo. <laughs> hope they have peanut brittle. Hope they have peanut brittle. Hope, 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 hope. Oh, this is terrible. The beast is loose. Oh, oh, maybe I'd better warn the trick-or-treaters to get inside. Oh, did you see the news? They said... <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, no peanut brittle. That's right. Another good haul, but no peanut brittle. Of course I recognized him. It was Catzilla right here on my street. <laughs> what is it with these people? Don't they know how popular peanut brittle is? It was Catzilla. I'm sure of it. I was just watching the TV news report of how he escaped from the zoo. <gasps> Let's see. 23 houses, 23 bowls of candy, total amount of peanut brittle? Zero. 
Maybe I'll have better luck at the next 23 houses. There he is, right there! Yeah. We have you surrounded! He's making a break for it. After him! <laughs> Tell everybody what you're up to. <laughs> Hiding place. Hiding place. Let's go no sign of him back here. When they catch him, they're gonna ship him off to a zoo in Siberia. Siberia? All they wanted was some peanut brittle. I have to get home. I'll be safe. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. We have reports that Catzilla has been sighted on the west side. He is extremely dangerous, and everyone is warned to watch for him. But I'm Yelp is right. Uh, it's Catzilla! This is John Arbuckle. Catzilla is on my front porch. Hurry! Hey, come on. I'm registered. You can't do that. Take your hands off me. I'm a registered cat. Good work. We'll get him back to the zoo right away. You guys have it all wrong. I'm not Catzilla. I live in there. There. There's Catzilla. See? There. He's sneaking into our house. Whew, that was close. Mm -hmm. Imagine the terror and the danger of having Catzilla in our home. Let me out. Get me an attorney. Get me an attorney named Murray. I'm not Catzilla. He's in my house, about to jump the puppy and that guy who cooks my lasagna. I gotta get out of here. It's open at the top. Maybe if I climb out. I can do it. Yeah! I can't do it. Maybe I can pry the bars open. I give up. I'm not a superhero. I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm just a flabby, out of shape pussy cat. Hey, I'm a flabby, out of shape pussy cat. Yoo-hoo! Anybody? I shouldn't be in here! Hello? You shouldn't be in there. You're not Catzilla. You're a flabby, out of shape pussycat. You noticed. Where's Catzilla? I know where Catzilla is. And I've got to get home before he goes trick-or-treating with Odie and John as the treats. For some fruit, Odie? <laughs> Gee, you are hungry. Huh? I'll get some more snacks. Where is that light switch? Hey, how come the light switch is all furry? <laughs> Odie, Catzilla's in the house. Oh, you've noticed. Oh. Maybe we can give him something to eat, like John's car or something. Wait, I know. <laughs> Quick, Odie, 
Open up these wrappers of taffy. Here, fella, trick or treat. Having trouble chewing, fella? Well, I don't think you'll be biting anyone for a while. There he is! There's Catzilla! Be careful with him, men! Bet you're glad to have him back. Well, we sure are. Oh, say, it's feeding time. Well, when I'm around, it's always feeding time. But Catzilla has quite an appetite. Each meal, he gets ten steaks, ten cans of salmon, a roast beef or two, a dozen lasagnas. And for dessert, and you might think this is odd, his favorite thing, peanut brittle. Oh, it's wonderful. Peanut brittle. Oh, what are we waiting for? It's feeding time. Mind if I uh, join you for dinner, Smiley? I haven't had any of that since, uh, well, about four o'clock. Come on, Pookie, supper time. Don't worry. If you don't want yours, I'll eat it. One piping hot lasagna. Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. Got it. Boy, I thought you couldn't look any cuter. But add marinara sauce, melted cheese to anything, and it looks better. Sorry, Garfield. I got your toy dirty. <gasps> Pookie is not a toy. Pookie is a best friend who just happens to be made of mostly cloth. Here, you got it messy? You clean it. <laughs> He better be as fluffy and adorable as always. He'll be done any minute now. He's done. Here he is. What have you done to him? He looks like a porcupine watching a horror movie. Relax, Garfield. He just needs to be dried overnight. Tomorrow morning, he'll be his old self again. Tomorrow morning? You're a big cat, Garfield. You can sleep without Pookie for one night. Nah. Oh, ho, ho. He's right. I can do without Pookie for one night. Boy, I hope he's okay out there. the clothesline. I'm sure he's all right. What am I worried about? He's fine. <laughs> Come 
Come on, Oster. Let's bring Pookie in so he can have breakfast with us. He's gone. Pookie's gone. Pookie, where are you? Pookie, where are you? Don't worry, Pookie. I'll find you. Pookie's not in there. Pookie's not in there. Pookie's not down there. I'm sorry Pookie disappeared, Garfield. Well, you ought to be. When I saw he was missing, I ran out and bought you a new little friend. I hope you like him. Not as cute as Pookie. I thought you might not like that one, so I also got this one. Yeah. Looks too much like normal. Huh? One more. It's the latest thing. The Teddytron 2000, a fully robotic, state-of-the-art digital teddy bear. It's not as cute as Pookie. You can make it say whatever you want just by speaking into this microphone. Hello, Garfield. I want to be your friend. Hello, Garfield. I want to be your friend. And there are all sorts of other commands on the controller here. Hmm. Let's see what happens when I press walk. Still not as cute as Pookie. Let's see what happens when I press dance. Nope. Maybe this button that says cuddle. Hey, let me go. Let me go. Ouch. What are you doing? Hey, one of these commands has got to be uncuddled. This one says stop. Oh, wow. Pookie never did that to me. Oh, boy. Oh, you're back. Like I didn't have enough bad news. What's that, boy? You found Pookie? Uh-huh. Well, don't just stand there slobbering. Take me to him. Shh. In here? That, that, that Pookie napper. That mutt took my best friend. Okay, one of my best friends. And I'm going to get him back. <laughs> you! That's, that's my pookie, pookie you've got there. there. I, I demand, demand that, that you return him. Huh? <laughs> I demand that you stay out of my yard. Pookie is mine now. Mine! If that mutt thinks I'm giving up Pookie without a fight, he's got another thing coming. <laughs> This is called Fishing for Pookie. I got a bite. Not a reeler in. This is like Pookie's putting on a little weight. There you are, Pookie. Oh, hello. Okay.
Okay. All right. I'm trying something else. Maybe the old phony bush trick. <laughs> How much do you get for gardening work? <laughs> okay, I'm through being Mr. Nice Cat. I know how to get Pookie back. I need to find an old dress. Find my baby. Who has him? Oh, there you are, Pookie. Well, what are you doing with that mangy dog? You should be with that nice Garfield where you belong. You're his mother? <laughs> of course I'm his m mother. Don't you see the family resemblance? I can get away with this because, as you may have noticed, dogs aren't too bright. Let me take you back to Garfield, little Pookie. I'm sorry. I didn't know he was your kid, lady. I just wanted a friend. I never had one. I'm supposed to be this real tough dog scaring everyone away. Well, that's the trouble. I scare everyone away. Huh? So long, Pookie. It was nice having a friend for a little while, even if I did have to steal you. Sad. So I, I, I think we're gonna have to find him a friend. Yeah, it's great having you around. I never had anybody to talk to before. Boy, I used to not have one friend, and now I got three. Well, that worked out well. Can someone be friends with a useless creature that can't even think? Hey, you and I are pals, aren't we? Huh? Come on, Pookie. Let's go home and see if John has lunch ready. And if you don't want yours, I'll eat it. Country air, boys. Wasn't it a great idea to go spend a week with my brother on the farm? No. Isn't it good to get away from the TV? No. And won't it be great to get up at the crack of dawn, work in the fields, and do chores? No, no, and no. And in that order. Yeah. Seven days with no TV, no pizza delivery, and John calling his brother a name he doesn't like. Don't call me Duck Boy. 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 Duck Boy, Duck Boy, Duck Boy. Told you. You like working here on the farm, John. It's a very efficient operation. 
That's my farmhand, Ralph. How's it going, Ralph? Fine, Mr. Arbuckle. I'm just about to go commence the milk and the cows. Later on, Ralph will collect the eggs that my chickens have laid today. They are all very productive. Sure looks that way, Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. <clears throat> and later, he or I will milk the cows. I sell the milk, the eggs, the crops at the local farmer's market. It's going to be fun to work here, Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. <laughs> <laughs> You're way too happy to be here, Odie. I'm going to start the milking, Mr. Arbuckle, but I wanted to ask you about something. We got this ad here. It says, high definition cable TV, 250 channels of movies, sports, music, programs like Super Millionaire Name That Fish, and... Forget about it. We've decided not to have TV on this farm. No TV? That's inhumane. Well, there are some good things on TV. Maybe, but we took a vote. I let all the animals vote, and we all decided no TV on this farm. Do you want TV here, ladies? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what do a bunch of cows know? Just thought I'd ask. It's settled. No TV on this farm. Come on, John. You can go with me into town to pick up the supplies. Fine with me, Doc Boy. Garfield, you and Odie can do the chores while we're gone. I made up a short list. Chores? Is that anything like work? Oh, and before I forget, John... Don't call me Doc Boy! Doc Boy! Doc Boy! Doc Boy! Whew. We have an awful lot of things to do, Ode. We better get to work. First off, there's raking the leaves. Then we gotta wash the windows in the barn. Then we have to pile up the firewood. Missed a spot. Gee, all my favorite shows are on and I'm missing them. I know, I know, they voted. Well then, we'll just have to demand a recount. Huh? You know, Chad's. This here's how you get mail. Wouldn't it be easier to just go down to the supermarket? They have a whole refrigerator case of this stuff. That's about if you give it a try, cat. Now, this is a strange way to get milk. Excuse the claws, ma'am. Yeah! <sighs> Boy, you think that's funny, do you? just bored because there's no TV to watch on this farm. TV? What's so great about TV? What's so great? You can see the world without having to actually get up and do something. Look at all these great channels, like the All Hopscotch Network. And over here is special programming for cows. A cooking show with recipes for the most delicious cud you ever chewed. Oh, tell me more. Oh, everything on TV is so great. Do you really think we'll get TV out here soon? I'm working on it. Next up, we have to convince the chickens, then the horses.
<laughs> we must be getting close to your farm, Doc Boy. We are. And don't call me Doc Boy. Doc Boy, Doc Boy, Doc Boy. Hey, that truck's from the cable TV company. I thought you weren't going to order it. That's what I thought, too. All hooked up, sir. I didn't order cable TV. Your farmhand did. He called, I rushed right out here. Got here before the pizza delivery guy. Pizza? Buongiorno! I came all the way from the city, many miles, to bring you Vito's fine pies, as ordered, Doc Boy. I've got to get to the bottom of this. Don't you call me Doc Boy, either. So the secret of good Chubal Cud is to start with the top grade grass and weeds, avoid, you know, burrs, their stickers at all costs. What are you all doing? You should be giving milk. Shh! My cows aren't giving milk. But it's okay. My chickens have been laying lots of eggs lately. How's the egg production going? Shh. My chickens aren't laying eggs. Huh? But at least my horses aren't lying around watching TV and eating pizza. How much do you want to bet? What are you doing? No one's doing any work at all. I have to find out who's responsible for this. I have a feeling I know. And now, Mrs. Edna Flurp, for one million dollars, can you name that fish? Looks like Herbert to me. You know, this living on a farm isn't so bad now. My cows are watching TV and eating pizza. My chickens are watching TV and eating pizza. Even my horses are watching TV and eating pizza. And do you know what they said to me? Shh! I'm ruined. My farm will be out of business. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doc. I poured my life into this farm and... Doc? You call me Doc. Yeah, I guess I did. Here comes the mushy part. Do you know how long it's been since you called me Doc instead of Doc Boy? A while? Uh... Oh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Flurp. The name of the fish you couldn't identify was Herbert. <laughs> Told you. And now we're dialing a phone number selected completely at random to see if some lucky viewer at home can name this fish. It's a freshwater silver-crusted mango trout. <laughs> I know my fish. If the person we call is watching and can name this fish, he or she will win $100,000. Oh. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. The odds are like a zillion to one against him calling here. And again. Hello. Sir, are you watching Name That Fish? I know. I don't watch TV. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, I guess I'm watching. Super. Then for $100,000, can you name that fish? Sure, freshwater silver crusted mango trout. Why? That is correct. That is absolutely correct. You win $100,000. Doc, are you okay? I'm right sorry about ruining your farm the way I did, sir. Who needs farming? I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm sort of rich. I'm rich enough. Follow that man, Odie. He's rich. He's rich. He's sort of rich. Big screen TV, all the pizza, paid vacations for your animals? Your prize money will eventually run out. So when it runs out, I'll go back to farming. By that time, everything will be in reruns anyway. Mmm, good pizza do you have out here. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. 
Okay. <laughs> 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 